according to information published by Deutsche Welle on July 24, 2023, following North Korea's threats in response to the first U.S. nuclear-armed submarine docking in South Korea last week. A second U.S. submarine, the USS Annapolis, made its entry into South Korean waters. The decision of the United States to deploy two nuclear-powered submarines to South Korea marks a significant escalation in the ongoing geopolitical tensions on the Korean peninsula. The implications of this move are multifaceted and extend beyond mere show of force, underlining the strategic importance of the region to U.S. interests and its commitment to ensuring regional stability. This deployment serves as a strong deterrent to North Korea. It is an assertive message of military might designed to curb any potential aggressive intentions from the North Korean regime. The presence of these submarines, one of which is nuclear-armed, stands as a stark reminder of the vast military capabilities of the United States, and its willingness to utilize them in defense of its allies. The decision emphasizes the importance the United States places on its alliance with South Korea. It reaffirms the U.S. commitment to the security of the South Korean state, and underlines the extent to which it is willing to go to uphold this commitment. This not only bolsters the morale and security of South Korea, but also reinforces the credibility of the United States as an ally to other nations in the region. This decision underlines the strategic importance of the Korean Peninsula to the United States. The region is a crucial pivot point in Asia, with major powers like China, Russia, and Japan within proximity. The U.S. presence in the region, therefore, plays a significant role in shaping the balance of power in Asia and maintaining a counterbalance to the growing influence of China and Russia.